right, do you wanna fly, do you wanna dance all night, just for fun? So good morning and welcome back to the vlog. I've driven over to Yorkshire once again to meet up with good friend Damien, who's just completed the Zwift Academy, as you might have seen. Yep. Fancy meeting you here. I know. On the whole moss. I know, right? It's becoming a regular feature there, isn't it? Just, just as I was about to... to <laughs> regular feature of the vlog. Exactly. The famous home to the moss. <laughs> what are you saying? More like the famous Damien Clayton. Ah, I wish. <laughs> nah. It's not warm. That's it's not sure. warm, but I just feel quite warm. Do you? Yeah. It's because he's dressed in the finest. Probably not even allowed to say what I'm wearing, but obviously you can tell. <laughs> so we won't talk about exactly how you got on on your Zwift Academy yet, but... Not yet. How are you feeling? Yeah, good. Just wanting to like physically and... Well, not physically, but mentally recharge and yeah look forward to outdoor miles exactly i mean i'll still do the turbo and zwift and stuff but just not yet yeah. christmas first exactly gotta win that nut race isn't it? those vegan mince pies oh so just got to the top of home moss it's three degrees up here and apparently we're cycling through a cloud it's stunning though or at least it would be if i could see anything I've got to catch him out now. Do you wanna drink? Do you wanna eat? Do you wanna think about it? Then get back to me, huh? Damn. Eighty k an hour going down there. Well, really? You must have hit like ninety. Yeah, with this, son. <laughs> yeah, without a big chimney camera on your back. Uh, try and get out before it shoots you. When you're looking so high. Also to all the viewers from all over the world, wherever you're watching this from, a big Merry Christmas from myself. I guess let's hope next year brings some more luck. I'm going to be having a very quiet family Christmas this year. Not getting up to much mischief, but I might, I might get stuck into the festive 500. Very interesting back at home with tier four restrictions, making a lot of things very difficult. I can't believe it's Christmas already, mate. I can't. What, what's happened to 2020? Where's it gone? I cannot believe it's Christmas. <laughs> don't know, it's just gone, hasn't it? What a year to look back on it, in Strava. Right. <laughs> what's the stats coming, do you know? It's like over a thousand hours. Wow. Yeah, but Whoa. that's like my yoga and car and everything. Yeah, right. Do you know how many miles? Okay. I think it's around 27,000, maybe. Whoa. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> Not anything else but to drive <laughs> You wear my eyes, you wear my heart, you wear my life, and you walked into the room. So we're an hour and a half into this one today. We're now on a climb called Snake's Path. Very well named. Quite famous, I think. But yeah, Damien's uh, giving me a tour once again of his local road. Strava tells me a second on this climb, Damien. I am, yeah. When are you going to go get it? No, not soon. Next year. <laughs> I tried in the summer at the back end of summer. Yeah. Not ideal wind, but fair play to Ben Swift. <laughs> like we were kind of like to and fro in a bit. Yeah. And then he's almost put it out of reach. Really? Yeah, it's, it's um... <laughs> So it started off at the beginning of the year when we were just on a training ride and Rob Scott was giving it the big one about as he does. And he was like, I'll just take the snakes pass. And as I will have like a seven, eight minute opener to do. So I'll lead you out. I'll lead you out for as long as my effort. And I accidentally set, sat well over my watts. <laughs> accidentally. No pace to at the bottom of the hill. And then chucked him about halfway up. And then the two Scots <laughs> went on to take it. Right. And Ben was in training camp in Mallorca. Okay. He literally cut some messaging me about it. <laughs> oh, I'll get it back, blah, blah, blah. Good bit of fun. Yeah. Good 
good ride so far, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. Mate, I love December, is it? I love this loop so much. I could yeah, do it. Nice. I, could, I can see why you do it so many times. It's just perfect, isn't it? Bastard climb. Your favourite. They don't like you, they don't really like you. They don't know you, so why you gotta try? So I can make them like you, to make them really like you. When you so three hours into this one now, I'm starting to feel it. Me and Damien have been doing some uh, really good for and off with the tailwind. And uh, yeah, decent speed. Also, don't tell Damien, but my DIT has just run out. So, little ring for me. <laughs> the calf, mate. The calf. The calf. The calf. What's it called? Faders will Thank you very much. Look at that, so, mate. Hey. Swaps, swaps Cheers. Thank you, guys. Mate, what have you got there? I don't know. This is an Oreo. <laughs> Oreo cake, mate. Yeah? Yeah. Beauty. <laughs> Would you look at that? Outrageous. Not a little calf, this. This is the place to come if you live in... <laughs> Peniston. <laughs> Peniston. <laughs> I'm so tempted to call him Penis Town every time. <laughs> Yeah, I think they opened this at the start of lockdown. Oh, really? Yeah. First lockdown, yeah. No. It's, it's so busy. Place to be. This next road is my favourite to ride in on as well. Is it? Yeah, it's lovely. Mate, that was an epic loop. Thanks for. Nice loop, innit? Thanks for coming. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Has got cold after that stop, though, innit? It is, innit? Yeah. <laughs> meeting, meeting all the fans, mate. I know, yeah, I was trying to hurry the conversation up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice one, yeah, couple. So, whilst Damien stops for a quick piss. <laughs> if you guys never heard of the Zwift Academy, it's basically a process where anyone can enter and it is an opportunity to prove yourself and see if you can compete to win a spot to race at the highest level of the sport. In Damien's case, a spot on Team Alpes and Fenix, alongside stars like Van der Poel. So that is what Damien has been spending his time doing over the last few weeks. So let's catch up with him and see how it went. Yeah. Welcome to my Zwift crib. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the magic happens. The Clayton Zwift HQ. I like it. Lovely. So I was an Iowa man when I was just being an idiot. That was Born Sickle. That was Born Sickle as well. That's my best one, isn't it? So a few days on now, Damien from the Zwift Academy. I'm Damien Clayton. I'm 28 years old and I'm from Barnsley. I used to be an architect in London. I quit that to pursue my dream as a cyclist. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Yeah. How, how are you feeling having um, gone through that whole process, right? Yeah, I feel relieved. Um, happy I did it. Honoured for the opportunity. Obviously I didn't win, <laughs> but um, reflecting and look like really Taking into account all the really nice messages I had and everything like that. I think um, I think in general, you know, I can take the fact that I got to the final five as a as a big achievement in itself. I think it was really it was really hard. It was way harder than what I was expecting. A lot harder mentally. It really took its toll because there's so much downtime. Like just sitting, or oh, just sat in my bedroom, just thinking like, well, have I done enough? Have I done this? What should I do? With that should I eat this? Should I do this? Although the training load wasn't that big, and we didn't really do that many hours at all um it was like really really intense efforts yeah. within the week we started off with a ramp test yeah then we had a few days off we did an endurance ride exactly the same as what we've done today yeah exact same loop uh tuesday was an endurance ride 20 minutes we came back 20 minutes later we had to do a uh we had to chase matty van der Poel when he yes um, his last hour or something yeah won the I'm still gold yeah so do the exact same intervals and how, how hard was that? <laughs> that um, he, he started off really hard it yeah. got easier as it went in yeah but the, it was like an hour like long of effort an hour and 15 of efforts uh, the beginning was really really hard um, that was really good uh, we did speed dating on Wednesday evening with the, with the lads from Alpsin that was really nice to meet the team Thursday was really good. That Thursday was team role play. Mm -hmm. So we all had to, we was on the Innsbruck course mm -hmm. um, and we had to listen to the DS, do exactly what the DS said, say yeah. attack whenever. Yeah. Um, so we did that. Friday was a race up Alpha Zwift. Yeah. 
which is, I actually really enjoyed it. Put out some really good pound numbers, some of the best pound numbers that I've done for this year over 20 minutes. Obviously, the finals were the um, points race and the TT. And live on TV at that. Now, it's an interesting format. Hannah, where we're racing a time trial, so there's no drafting, but the riders can all see each other in real time. You could never pull this off in real life. By that time, by the finals, I was a little bit wanting to have it over and done with. Yeah. I've learned a hell of a lot about me physically as well, you know, yeah. like through yeah. the, throughout, throughout the process. I just ignore all of that. I actually got a bit of advice from um, Ella Harris. Yeah. Um, reached out to her, also, obviously she's on the women's side, but she, like, one of her things that she mentioned was just like block everyone else out. Yeah. You know, just like, your own battle. Yeah, concentrate on yourself and see what you can achieve. So I, I did that and then, but then I did have to ask Ollie how he was feeling before the finals. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Gearing up towards next year with, with Canyon DHV. Yes, I can finally get really excited about that and finally, finally um, get my teeth stuck into that and I said to the team, you know, like, sorry for like being quite like not, not present. Um, but now I can get really psyched about that and exactly. look forward to wearing their kit on the 1st of Jan. I'm not going to wear it until the 1st of Jan because <laughs> we got out on the, yeah, on New Year's Day yeah. um, with that kit and yeah, just work, work with absolute honour and pride and yeah, I can't wait for next year. Absolutely. Um, fingers crossed we get some really good racing in. Awesome, mate. Well, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. We had we had good fun today, didn't we? Yeah, thanks for coming for the third time. <laughs> yeah. so more next year than yeah, you Yeah, so we get four in next year. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Merry Christmas, and I'll, I'll, I'll see you soon. See you later, mate. Thanks for coming. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. A big Merry Christmas, and thank you for Damien for having me once again on his local roads. See you on the next one. Ciao.